Hi! <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome to a vlog of my life. I thought I'd sit down with my little matcha. Sorry, I had to take a sip. Wow. Um, and I thought we'd just vlog about what I've been up to because I have been working a lot lately and it's been crazy. You guys know me. You know I am all over the place with my career and my decisions and I kind of made an executive decision to stop messing around. I want to be a more organized person. I want to be a productive person. I want to feel like I have a career. I don't want to feel like I just sit around all day and occasionally do things and throw things out here and there and do things when I only have the motivation. You know, I really took a minute with myself and I said, Paola, you need to focus. Also, hi, if you're watching me and you're not subscribed, I'm Paola Casa. I make videos on YouTube about graphic design and my career and my design journey and design tips and all of that. So please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And also, if you're watching this, ring the bell if you haven't. No matter who you are, how long you've watched, ring that bell to get notified when I upload, please. Okay, see, that there is an example of how I am taking initiative and actually stepping up my game and really feeling like I know what I'm doing as a content creator and graphic designer. I'm trying to get my work out there as a content creator. I'm trying to just push forward and make and create and do things. But I'm also working as a designer. You guys know me. You know I don't really work with clients that often because it's just... It's tiring. But I really wanted to regroup and refocus on what I actually want out of my career and great opportunities have come up just from the shift of mindset and just the shift of how I'm going about things. And I'm happy to report that it is working. My strategies are working. I am working on a lot of different things. Media kits, brand guidelines, things of that nature. I'm really focusing on my own work and I'm also creating lots of short form content and it's a lot of creation, a lot of editing, a lot of new ideas, content ideas, but it feels amazing. Even though I don't take on a lot of clients, I have been working. And yes, working as a designer, oh, isn't that amazing? Isn't that just rare for me? <laughs> it's great to have a little bit more work experience just completely not related to YouTube. So that's really nice to just have more work experience and learn a bit more. So I had the opportunity to work with my friend Josie. She is working with a few different clients. She's a freelancer. And so she has just been really overwhelmed and she is working with Darwin Pride. So that's cool because I got to work on it with her because she just needed a little bit of like extra hands, like another team member with her. So I kind of worked as a junior designer for her, which is great because I learned a little bit more about how other people work. I haven't really had that type of experience before because it's so independent what I do. <laughs> I did a lot of the smaller things that she couldn't get to right away. So a lot of like template making, there were so many templates for lots of posters and different sizes. So lots of things on Canva. And I helped import some of the brand guidelines, like colors and stuff like that. the camera <laughs> so this is my friend's studio office she works here and I am working here her usual desk partner is on maternity leave so I get to use the desk space and she is the one who has hired me for this week for a few days and so it works out perfectly and I can just work here and ask her questions whenever I need because I'm following all of her design stuff with her clients. So right now I'm working on Canva on some of the stuff, some of the assets for Darwin Pride and I'm just kind of making templates, like brand templates. So this is the other one I've been making, just adding in all of the brand assets. It is legitimately so fun working in an office space. And then I also got to make a gin label, which was really fun because it's part of like the collaboration for Darwin Pride. And it's really fun to work on something local in Australia. I mean, I know Darwin's not local to me, I'm in Sydney, but like just working in Australia and 
kind of working with people from Australia. It's just a nice experience because I haven't had that much here yet. So that was cool. She is very organized in all her filing and all of that. And I know you're watching Josie, so yes, I am exposing you right now. But basically, she is just like the most organized with her filing systems and she's really on top of things. So I learned a lot and I'm, t I'm taking away a lot from what I worked with her. But we did about four days working together and that was just amazing. And it was really nice to just like have a place to go at her office and and just focus on work and it was just really fun but yeah overall that was amazing i loved working and i just feel very accomplished as a designer at the moment to just take on everything say yes to everything and get to work so the next thing is i'm working on my own stuff so basically i have to tell you about going to this art lecture at the art gallery i was so excited for it but i was running late this is me hustling and trying to get there and i was in the rain and it was just a whole thing and i was optimistic here here's me going down the escalator to where i thought it was turns out no i was in the wrong building so here's me rushing to the next building and literally getting there with one minute to spare it was a nightmare it was like escalator after escalator and then i had to go sit in the front because everything was full and i'm usually the youngest person at these lectures but i do love them and i actually had a really good time of music and sex, or rather music and devices, if you want to put it slightly more delicately. What he means by undressing their models is Caravaggio would take his models, he would undress them and dress them up in the costumes he thought appropriate. The sensory world would lead to ruin, while at the same time titillating the beholder with what was on offer. In the end, she's just a girl in front of the viewer, asking them to come out and play. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. <laughs> I am working a lot just in general. I've got some like brand stuff in the works and I've been working with my friend, which was a great time and I've just been feeling very good. Unfortunately, I was gonna go out and vlog this of hanging out with my group. They're called the Freelance Friends and I met them and there's a lot of people in it. I haven't met everyone yet. Like, they plan events and we're like a nice little like kind of networking group but just like becoming friends with other freelancers. It's so nice to have that in Sydney and they're all so lovely. It's just been the best. But then I was gonna go out for drinks and then I couldn't because it rained so much here. I've never seen it rain that much and it was just nonstop for the whole day and then apparently it flooded everywhere. So then none of the trains were running and I literally just couldn't get anywhere and it was like, it said on the travel app, avoid travel. <laughs> like if you can i'm like i don't think i'm gonna make it to this so i couldn't go out with them and i really wanted to vlog it but oh well it's a nice fun thing that i'm part of as a freelancer so i guess that kind of ties in with just in general what i'm vlogging about right now is like what i'm up to as a graphic designer i am part of a group and i think that's a really fun thing to do in your city try to find freelance groups these girls i know started one because there wasn't really one that they found so they started it and now they're my friends and i just i love that okay so what i've been working on i have been working on brand guidelines for myself i wanted to just make like a brand presentation just to do that in practice um i've been inspired by my friend josie but yeah i just was inspired by her and how she does her brand presentations for her clients so i just wanted to make it for my brand myself so i could just stick to all the brand colors and all of the brand assets that I want for myself like when I did that rebrand over a year ago now um, but yeah so I'm just checking in with myself and making that and then that will help me make a media kit so as a content creator I'm making a media kit that I can give to brands that want to work with me potentially and just show them like my stats what I offer as an influencer, like as a content creator online, like how many followers, my demographics, kind of making that into its own just mini presentation. It can be like one page or just a couple of pages. So I'm putting that together as well, but after I do this brand guidelines, just so I feel more organized on top of things within myself and my own business. But you guys know like my graphic design life and content creator life is just all meshed into one. So I've just been working on 
more reels, more short form content so I can share more design tips and inspiration. And one of my reels that I posted on Instagram has really popped off and it, I've gained like 400 followers on Instagram in like the past two days, which is insane. That never happens to me, but the video is doing really well. So yeah, definitely go check out my reels. They're on my Instagram and I'm making them more and more. So that's really what I'm focusing on is just a lot of content creation, a lot of editing, a lot of design inspo and I'm using resources like books and stuff. So yeah, I feel a little bit chaotic, but I feel like this is a great time to check in because it's like good chaos. Like I just can't believe all this stuff is paying off at the same time as I took it serious. This is what I've been working on. I really do feel like I've stepped into a routine. I sit down at my desk. I use my dual monitors every day. The issue at the moment is that this baby is kind of having a little bit of a breakdown. It's my only, my only computer. It's my laptop and it just keeps having issues. So I might have to take it into Apple, but yeah, overall <laughs> things are going well. I will be working on a little bit of the brand guidelines right now. So I guess you can see that because that's just like my brand stuff. So I'll show you that. Yeah, I really like this idea of making brand guidelines for myself because I just really need to utilize again Like I said my friend Josie her work is just so great and I love how she does it And so I want to just take inspiration from her and kind of start somewhere with that So that's what I'm doing there and I want to create brand guides for like an up-and-coming video so you can see how I do it now and I think that's a really good idea. So I'm going to do like two different videos. Like I'm going to do a design video of a brand and then I'm going to do creating the brand guidelines as if I'm pitching it to a client. Overall, life has just been really good, <laughs> which is crazy to say because honestly, I spent a lot of last year being very paralyzed by my anxiety. I'm going to be completely honest. I spent a lot of the year really in a depression and I spent a lot of time not being able to make decisions for myself to even you know get up and do something <laughs> like honestly I'm I know I'm smiling now and it's it's easy to smile on camera but it was a really tough year for me and I want to be more open about that because I want to show the struggles of what it is to work for yourself because it's not always perfect but I feel like I've just found such a good rhythm and I hope that I can inspire you to like help you find that rhythm as well because it's not just like okay I just got out of bed one day and I felt better like I have just been working toward what I actually want to do and I think that took a lot of time to feel lost and all of that I made those videos being like am I even a working graphic designer anymore like do I even know what I'm doing do I, do I want a job am I unemployed am I even making money am I doing anything and now it's like yes you can do it you can do it <laughs> so like i don't know <laughs> i don't know maybe my advice isn't that good because it's like you just gotta work you just gotta do it when you, even when you don't have the motivation but you just you have to <laughs> and i think just re-strategizing what i want out of my career and just pursuing it has just helped my mentality so much i actually sit down and work and it's not about fear it's not about like oh my god i got an email what do i do like i can't respond to this it's too much pressure right now like i used to feel like that just respond, just handle it, you know? So I don't know, maybe that's the, the worst advice at the moment, but it's it's what's helping me. So yeah, anyway, that's what's been going on with me and it's been really positive. I'm working again, I'm feeling good and I'm ready to like really take on brand deals here and just really focus on my short form and long, long form content and make amazing quality content for you guys, especially about graphic design because even if I'm not working in it, I can share with you design tips and help and just talk about our design careers um, but I'm also working right now as a designer which is great I'm getting like jobs here and there and just working with my friend just really motivated me to just just keep going <laughs> okay I'm gonna go please like this video if you liked it a little 
week in my life, little time in my life as a graphic designer, how I'm doing, what I'm doing, and I will see you in the next video. Let me know in the comments what you are up to as a designer in your design journey, whether that's working or just working on personal project or just having fun or just watching tutorials. What are you up to? Let's chat. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.